I think one of the, the problems that most psychiatrists have labored under, we're trained in medicine, and yet in understanding cerebral functioning, we don't describe the major psychotic disorders in terms of any single physiological parameter. And it's really an attempt to characterize behavior in terms of physiology that I think is going to lead to more rational understanding and more rational treatment. Because we can look at the brain, and we should be looking at the brain, and that's what PET, and our studies with PET and psychiatry are meant to address.